nature, menstrual cycle and menstruation is all about fertility and pregnancy. Ovaries are walnut shaped and sized structures that are located deep within the tummy and each ovary contains a finite number of eggs in a microscopic state contained within little sacs called follicles. In every menstrual cycle, um, a monthly cycle, if we divide it roughly into four weeks, during the first week, as soon as menstruation happens, a few eggs that had been recruited in each ovary, roughly about five in each ovary, they start developing and maturing within those sacs called follicles. So the follicles start imbibing water and these are then called antral follicles. So anyone going for fertility investigations would normally have a scan around this early phase of the period or the cycle uh, where an antral follicle count is checked to check the ovarian reserves and their response, possible response to IVF and other stimulation. There are of course other tests like a hormone called FSH or uh, another hormone called anti-mullerian hormone. There's a blood test that can also give an estimate of the ovarian reserves. Now, once these eggs within the follicle starts maturing, by the end of the first week, so roughly about day seven of the cycle, it's decided which egg will ultimately go on to have the final maturation and will be released as an ovulation. The rest of the eggs by this time, by the end of the first week, starts regressing and disappearing. This egg that survives is called the dominant follicle now. And this then goes on to mature during the second week of the cycle and around the end of second week, that is around the middle of the cycle, this egg is then released from the ovary into the fallopian tube, where if chance permits, then a sperm might travel up the womb into the fallopian tube to fuse with this egg in the process called fertilization. If fertilization happens, then the embryo that's formed or the zygote or the embryo that's formed now travels down into the womb and gets embedded in the lining of the womb, implanted and continues as the pregnancy. In the meantime, the sac from which the egg was released in the ovary seals itself and starts producing the hormone of pregnancy, that is progesterone, that keeps this lining of the womb healthy and, and thick to maintain that pregnancy. If fertilization, however, does not happen, then the sac from which the egg was released, which is called a corpus luteum at this stage, then regresses and disappears. And because of the lack of hormones, therefore, the lining of the womb also then sheds, resulting in another menstruation and a menstrual cycle, and the whole cycle repeats itself again.